Hi guys, I'm calling Tom Collins, a Clark County Commissioner, who told people that they better um, uh, get funeral arrangements together if they come to Nevada. I think he was referring to Utah Rangers, but um, he did state some pretty bad things here. Um, rancher supporters told they better have funeral arrangements and I'm going to call him right now. I think you can only get through the answering machine. Um, yes, is there any possible way I could talk to someone about um, what he, uh, the county commissioner said about funeral arrangements for people that come and protest and stand with the Clive and Bundy family? I, I'll connect you with that office. One moment, please. Have you heard about this? Mr. Collins, I believe that you told people who are coming to your state that they have, they better have their funeral plans made, and this is being recorded, just so you know. Um, first of all, who are you sending, or who are you serving? If you're serving the corporation of D.C. and Nevada, then you're a traitor against the people, and you're telling them to make funeral arrangements. What I see now is I was going, I am going to be there coming from Washington State, peacefully, but this is a threat. So I think that we, a group of us, are going to um, file charges on you and get a, um, I hate to use lawyers because they're just one of you guys, but there are some that are for civil rights abuses and you have just committed a big civil rights abuse. As a matter of fact, the lady prior, this is my second attempt, said she read this in the newspaper and she hopes that you're not going that way. So it sounds like your own people are, don't even have faith in you. You either serve the people or you serve the corporation. If you're just serving the corporation and you're a traitor and you have no business having any say-so in this whatsoever, you cannot serve two masters. There is a constitution and a bill of rights. A lot of people like to still believe in that illusion. It's an illusion because you guys have forced a new constitution down. The thing is, people believe in that constitution and you no longer serve or represent the people. So by fraudulently saying you are a commissioner, a commissioner that represents the people and you are really serving the interest you of the... approaching the maximum length for a recording. Finish your recording after the tone. You are serving the corporate BLM, the Department of Interior, and the federal government instead of the people and you're threatening them or telling them they need to have made and prepared for funeral arrangements. You also called... You have reached the maximum length for a recording. To send this message, press pound. Can I just say up. fuck to you in this? One. To play it. Three. Marked urgent. To send this message, press pound or your message has been sent. Well, if you would like to try an extension, you may do so now. You see how far you get with these people. No one wants to talk about this, but here it sits. So I made my phone call. Um, and seriously, if someone does get hurt and he says, um, <clears throat> those, uh, the two the people are coming to Clark County, Nevada, to support Clive and Bundy, we all better have funeral plans. 
Damn, that sounds like one hell of a threat to me. Not that I'm scared of this little pussy who sits behind and can't answer his phone. But this, I will say, if one, if somebody gets hurt or somebody dies, you got your lawsuit. Yeah, and the feds can go down with him. He's serving two masters. He's not serving the people. He's serving the, the district of D.C. It's a corporation. So is Nevada. BLM is a department of, uh, it serves the Department of Interior. It has Homeland Security behind it. It has mercenaries from all over the place behind it. Um, so on our taxpayer dime, this just pissed me off. 15 minutes of waiting. I just pressed zero. Telephone operator, Carson City. Um, yes, I wanted to speak to um, the uh, district attorney or someone that could help me. District Attorney of County, and we don't have county numbers. Okay, how about the Attorney General? That number in Vegas is 486-3420. Okay, thank you. 486-3420. Thank you. Uh-huh. calling that now. I don't know who the Attorney General is. Attorney General's office, how may I direct your call? Well, um, I'm concerned. I was going to head to um, Nevada. Uh -huh. And uh, the commissioner in Clark County, Tom Coll Collins, uh -huh. has said that anybody that shows up to support Clive and Bundy better have funeral plans made. And that sounds like a direct threat to me, even if we're coming peacefully. It's, it's, on, it's on a lot of sites now where he said that. Uh -huh. It's showing up in newspapers. Now, how do we handle something like that? What if something happens to people and he's behind it? What would you guys do? If it's something that you think is a threat, uh, you're more than welcome to contact the local law enforcement. Well, it is a threat. when you, It's all over the media where he says, get, you better make funeral plans if you're coming to Nevada. I don't think you want that state represented that way. I mean, would you? We're coming as peaceful peoples. Actually, I'm an indigenous person. I came there just to to be peaceful, and hopefully it goes peaceful. But I am also a farmer that was put out of business, so I understand how he feels. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to go there and think I have an X on my back because some Tim Collins guy thinks he's beyond the law. Mm -hmm. So can you guarantee, you know, that people who come there are going to be safe from some lunatic uh, commissioner who's telling people to make funeral plans. I don't know if that's something that we here can necessarily guarantee. Well, so you, you can't guarantee that you've got a crazy madman making statements all over the media to make funeral plans, and you guys, you guys really need to go take him for some psychiatric help. No one's going there with the intentions of doing anything. The only one that sounds like escalating this is him. Mm -hmm. And that's and pretty... It, well, yeah, and, and it makes me wonder who's he serving, the corporation or the people? Um, obviously not the people if he's telling them to get funeral arrangements. And I, and I'm, I, sh I know that most people who are supporting um, Clive and Bundy mm -hmm. have heard this news and so I'm, I'm just, I'm going to lay it out on the line. Your state will get sued if someone gets killed and they haven't done anything wrong um, because of his, his statement. I don't know if you want to go there. I would call that man and tell him to quiet his butt down or apologize to the people who are just going in support of Clive and Bundy because we've been there and done that. I understand, ma'am. So um, I, could you possibly do that? Personally, no. Um, 
us as individuals cannot, and unfortunately at this point right now, our office isn't issuing any kind of uh, comment regarding it. Our Attorney General has not issued a comment on this just yet. So it sounds like y'all are a bunch of fascists. Go ahead, kill the people. We're just peasants. Without us, you guys wouldn't have jobs. Um, that's, that's ironic. Okay, I got what I needed to know. Thank you. Have a good night. There you have it. The fascist state of Nevada.